It's coming towards the end of the day. I've managed to track Cole down from Yesu, who's always a very busy man. And he's here to show me the lovely new Yesu rig. What do you reckon, Cole? Yeah, hello there. We've got the new FT101, which I'm sure you remember. Oh, I don't remember this. This is it's new, is it? Yes, it is brand new. Yeah. It's got full SDR full and, and two receivers as well. <laughs> well, blow me down. <laughs> No, no, no. I like your retro stand in all fairness. And we're having a bit of fun here. I like your retro stand showing what it was like in the 70s. If we move a little bit to our over, we have your brand new FT, uh, FTDX 101D. So, uh, Carl, tell us a bit about it, please. Okay, so the FTDX 101D is um, a hybrid SDR radio. It has um, two independent receivers, a sub and a main receiver. It has um, a two SDRs within that for each receiver. So you have a wide band receiver, which drives the um, display here. So you can display up to one megahertz of bandwidth in each waterfall display. And then in addition, we have a narrow band SDR, which is the one that drives the audio decoding so that you can then listen to the audio. Okay. That, that, sounds, that sounds really interesting. And you mentioned it's a hybrid SDR. SDR. Yeah. Um, and I know I was talking to uh, Dean a few minutes ago and he's saying the reason you've gone that route is because there are performance advantages yes. of the original radio and yeah. you're, so, so you're taking advantage of both technologies. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. So one of the problems is if you sample um, the signal directly and then you have say a very strong signal and a very weak signal next to each other you either have a problem where you've got to turn the gain down so that the strong signal is not intermodulating across the waterfall and then you can't hear the weak signal or if you turn the gain up to hear the weak signal then of course the strong signal intermodulates you get lots of artifacts on the display so the way we've got around that is to have two SDRs one to drive the waterfall and then a narrow band SDR to the, with the suitable front end filtering, and that's the one that you hear, that's the one that you hear the audio from. Yeah, that's great. Now, I've got to say, this is a very pretty radio. I mean, it's the first time I've seen it at this range, and this time it's not under a glass bubble like no, it was no, at no, Free Zone. No, that's correct. You can actually touch this and use it if you wish, yes. Yeah, well, I'd love to use it, but um, you do have an area on it uh, for receive. But uh, in fairness, I don't think we've got a particularly good area here, but I'd love to play with it. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds very good. It's got very good audio and very easy to listen to. And because you've got the addition of a waterfall display, it makes hunting signals much more easy. C certainly sounds it. And if you're covering, say, a meg of bandwidth, uh, you're covering more than most um, HF bands, yes. the whole of an HF band. So, uh, you know, you'll be able to see the whole lot, won't you? You will, and also if you want, you can actually reduce the bandwidth so you can make it cover just the HF band that you're interested in. So this one now, as I say, we had the two independent receivers. We've got the ability with, um, we can easily select main and subs here. And we've got two controls. So you've got the main tuning control. Yeah. And then here, we've got a multifunction secondary control, which you can select and actually control the sub-frequency as well. So you can independently tune two frequencies at once. Well, that's very interesting, and uh, that's, that's, that's quite nice, so I like that. And also, because um, although some people like to drive things from the touch screen, which indeed you can, um, a lot of people have obviously um, like to operate a radio with rotary controls. So yeah, most of the functions of the radio can be controlled by the touch buttons or by the dials and controls. So, so effectively, if people like me that like buttons and knobs and pushing yeah. are going to be happy. Yeah, the very youngsters who are coming into a hobby yeah. are going to be excited about the touch screen display. Yes. So everyone's happy. You've got the best of both worlds.
Yeah. Well, that sounds great. That sounds great. Now you have a matching speaker with it. It fits, uh, works very well, obviously, with your uh, high-range microphone. So it's an all-round package, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think it proves popular. And we'll also have two versions. We will have a 100 watt version and a 200 watt version. So 200 watts for those of you who just want that bit more cloud warming <laughs> from a QRP <laughs> operator. I can't help it. <laughs> You've got to keep that eye on the sphere, eye and eyes, don't you? <laughs> Certainly have. Listen, Cole, thank you very much. I know it's the end of the day and uh, you're starting to pack up. Yeah. Uh, you've been very, very busy. We've been backwards and forwards. Grateful for you giving us your time, Cole. You're welcome. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much.